Retain Gang, what's poppin', man? Yo, I had a video request. Someone asked me how to um, be courageous, you know, have the have confidence without semen retention, right? And I'm gonna tell y'all a little story, man. Um, my first year of college, right? Um, you guys know I ran track, so my very first track meet, right? I fell. I was a hurdler. I fell, right? Like trip, you know. And people, I saw people looking up, staring at me, camera snapping, bro. And I was so embarrassed, like that. That broke my ego, right? So then, like the next day at films, you know, coach he kept rewinding it. He kept rewinding the part of me falling, right? And I, I heard everyone laughing, you know, everyone looking at me laughing. That pissed me off, right? But I know why he did that, though. To this day, you know, I thank him for doing that because it woke up something inside of me, right? I went on to the rest of the season. I became MVP of the team. I qualified for regionals in two events, right? And I went on for my college career being MVP every year after that. So I say that to say this, guys. Failure is what makes you brave. Failure is what makes you courageous, right? You got to hit bottom. Because once you hit bottom, you don't have nothing to lose. You don't care what people think about you. The only thing you care about, you know what I'm saying, is making it, trying to survive. And that's what we're missing in this world nowadays. We're missing that, that primal, you know, instinct to survive. Everything is given to us. We live in a world where everything is automated. You know, at the click of a button, you can get anything that you need. You know, there was a time where you had to work for everything that you needed, that you needed to survive. You know, it, it was a certain drive, especially as a man. Men were hunters. So, you know, that, that drive to survive, to hunt, to feed your family, you know, that was an everyday thing. You had to get up and you... It was life or death, right? We don't have that no more. So it's making men weaker. It's making us weak. It's making us docile, right? This is why I say you got to get in the weight room. You got to wake up every day with a purpose. You know, that's going to help you have that primal instinct, that primal energy in this day and age with this automated, you know, day that we live in. You got to get up and work. You got to push your body to the limit, man. You got to challenge yourself. You know, we live in a world where it's instant gratification. Instagram, you know, everything, man. Just dating sites. You know, we don't even have to leave the house to pay our bills. We don't have to leave the house to get food. You don't have to leave the house to watch a movie. Nothing, bro. Everything is just at your convenience at home. Right? Right? You got to get up and grind, bro. You know what I'm saying? You you have to stop being afraid to fail and make mistakes because that's what's going to drive you to become better. You know what I mean? Even in high school, bro, like, I wasn't the fastest kid in high school. So people telling me that I couldn't do something, that I was slow, that drove me, bro. That drove me to be better. That made me work my ass off to become faster. You know what I'm saying? My, my one driving force in life was to prove people wrong. I never like when people tell me I can't do something or try to try to control my destiny. That ignites a fire inside of me. And you know, when you hit rock bottom, when you fail, you learn from it. You grow from that. It puts that fire in you. You know, if you talk to a girl and get rejected, you know what I'm saying? After a while, man, you stop caring about rejection. It, it's not even that bad. You like, damn, this is it. And it makes you stronger, bro. It gives you bulletproof skin. Right? You apply for a job and you don't get the job. Or you, you bomb the interview. That makes you better because you learn from it. You've seen the worst that can happen. So now there's nowhere to go but up. Right? We got to stop being afraid to make mistakes, man. You got to get out and live life. You have to. You, you got to try, man. If you don't try, nothing gets done. You know what I'm saying? That's where the courage comes from. 
That's where your confidence comes from. You know what I'm saying? Even before I did semen retention, bro, like this is the type of mindset that I had. I didn't, I didn't like people to tell me I couldn't do something. And I always wanted to prove people wrong. You know what I mean? And that was my courage because I know that I'm very persistent and I'm a hard worker and I will outwork anybody in the room. That was my mindset. You might be more talented than me. You might have more skill than me, but you can't outwork me, right? Hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. So guys, get out, man. Stop being afraid. You know, you build courage by living and experiencing. You gain wisdom. You know, we fear the things we don't know because it's foreign. It's uncharted territory, so we don't know what to expect, right? But once you go out there and you experience and you navigate, you start to gain wisdom. You start to gain knowledge and you lose that fear. You know, trial and error, doing this, you know, rearranging yourself, doing it again until you get it right. That's where courage comes from. You know what you're doing now. Repetition, persistence. You fail, you keep doing it over and over and over and over again until you get it right. That's going to build that courage up. Right? But you got to explore those uncharted territories, man. You got to get out and get out your comfort zone. You know, every day, do something to get out your comfort zone. All right, fellas. Hey, man. This your boy, Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace.